One day I was just browsing the internet and I came across this piece on Etsy. I really love the style of it and I thought why not try and make a similar style self-portrait but with a little bit more of a meaning to it for me. And that's when I started to design my pose. I took about 500 photos to finally get the one I really love and that shows what I wanted to come across to my audience. Uh, I will talk about that a little bit later on this in this video. I started by adding a couple of of layers of filters on top of it. When I got the right amount of contrast in my photo, it was time to add a grid. This would help me to enlarge my, my photo from about 10 by 10 centimeters to 40 by 40 centimeters. That's the size of the board I'm going to be using. So now comes the exciting part, seeing if my transfer worked. So let's take a look. It needs some cleaning up, but that's fine. So this is what the back looks like. You see all the pencil lines there. And I just ran a ballpoint over the top and the graphite transfers it to my board. So I am going to um, follow this to the edges, I think. On the other side, I'm going to do the same, clean some parts up, and then we're ready for carving. So it's looking really good. It feels also really good, so let's do another one. So for this piece, it's going to be very important that I keep my pressure on the same level and I'll show you why. So as you can see, I haven't uh, had my pressure the same all the way through those cuts, the second and the third. This one was more even, so I'll probably end up doing another pass on these. But just to show you how much of an impact the pressure can have on your cuts and the width of it. So I just wanted to tell you why I'm actually starting from the right bottom side and going up. I am actually right-handed, so when I carve, I carve from right to left, from down to up. So if I would be carving from the other side, I would be smudging my design. It's actually something I see a lot of tattoo artists do. They also start from the corner their hand is on that they are using. So just to make sure that they don't smudge the lines. So that's why I'm going from right to left and from bottom to top. I wanted to show you what I look for when I'm carving these lines. So I start with just the tip of the blade. Slowly go in. And then what I look at is both sides of the top of my blade and how far they are from the paint. You want to go slowly a little bit deeper. And then when you find your point where you know that you're deep enough, you just keep your eye on that point right there. And try to keep the pressure even so the tips of the blade stay equal to the paint. And when you want to make your line a little bit narrower, you lift the blade up a little bit so you decrease your so you decrease your pressure on it and it will come up a little bit and I just go very slow and I'm getting going to go to this point here there. And I want to ease it out of the paint on that point, so I'm slowly going to let the blade come up. Little by little. 
Não gosto. There you go. The line's finished. So let me show you that again from a different angle. So I'm easing the blade in. I'm looking at the tips of the blade. Keeping them at the same level. Just going slow, following my drawing line. So really look at the tip of the blade and both points need to stay same angle or the same height above the paint slowly easing up because I'm getting to my excess point following the line and ending my curve so one more go going in finding the depth you need keeping the blade Steady, following the line, it's just a guide, you can go a little bit away from it if you feel like it needs to. Easing up because I'm getting to the end. So I finished the outside of the carving, so I'm starting on uh, my body. <laughs> it's actually a self-portrait. I was thinking about doing this for a while. I really wanted to give a little bit more of a voice to the struggles of having an illness or multiple illnesses that are invisible on the outside. People, they tend to judge you on how you look and what you look like you can do, but they don't look further than that. They don't see the pain you can have because people judge you it makes it hard because you want to try and fit in so you try not to show what's going on and maybe that's not the best thing to do but because you look normal people expect you to act normal and you try to do what they expect but when you're having a bad day and people see what's actually going on they tend to judge you really really hard and the physical pain is already uh, a really big mental burden but having the judgment and the misunderstanding of the people around you on top of that makes it mentally really really hard and that's what i wanted to show in the pose of this piece and hopefully also open up a little bit of more of a discussion about illnesses that not always are visible on the outside and i'm not the only p person struggling um there are so so many and they struggle in silence so please don't judge somebody from just looking at the outside so that's why i'm doing this the self-portrait not everybody is going to like the design um, but for me it's a special one i like it i work very hard on designing this pose it took me a lot of photos to make this self-portrait one that, that i was happy about that would actually show you what i'm feeling and I'm really interested to know if it does, if it does show you the struggle that I'm feeling inside, the pain and the judgment. It's maybe not a really happy part, but it's still important. I really wanted to show you all aspects of me. And this is one of it. I'm really interested to hear your stories. Just put them in the description and I will read them. If you have any comments, just add them. Just make sure you're kind to everybody and also kind to yourself. Because don't forget, the one judging you probably the hardest are you. I make it really hard on myself. If you don't feel good enough to do one thing today, there's always tomorrow. So we're getting close to the end. It's been a very long process. Uh, I think from start to finish with the carving it took me till now more than a week. Just because um, <laughs> the black and white plays tricks on your eyes. Uh, if you stare at the lines too long, uh, you will start to see the colors convert, so all the black goes white and the white goes black. So you need to take a break from it now and then. So I'm really glad that I'm almost done. I really want to see the end result, 
because from all the different angles I've been looking at it, it looks so cool. Let's do a little bit more carving and then it's time to do the, some cleanup. Get rid of all the pencil lines and then we'll be done. I'll show you the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. And I'll try and answer them as quickly as I can. I really appreciate it. If you would like, share, subscribe. It will really help my channel out. So this is the second time I'm filming this outro. Uh, when I was uh, cleaning up and putting everything away, I found some areas that I really didn't like. So I did some modifications. Uh, I widened some lines. I changed the face a little bit. I'm really, really happy how it's looking right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that I was able to inspire you to try this yourself. So thank you for watching and I'd love to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!